here now we have a problem of uh, you know and we are going to deal a problem in in, in terms of pressure uh, how to deal with that we don't know so th the problem is convert 2.15 into 10 to the power 4 pascals into atmospheric units so I'm completely out of my mind to read this but uh, okay as we have done this uh, uh, how, how do we approach this problem okay so how do we gonna handle this problem let us let us understand what is pascals first of all the pascals is a unit the pascal is a unit of a pressure so pressure is nothing but the amount of uh, force acting on a unit area uh, or the surface okay let's say let's say uh, it's a molecule each molecule each atoms have a different force to to exert pressure on its unit area where they are present. Suppose uh, if it is present in a, in, in a balloon, l something like that, is external wall of the balloon, where the where the boundary of the you know the the, the balloon ends. Okay, inside atoms and molecules are present in the gaseous state. The, 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 the atoms that are present in the gaseous state will have tendency to hit or to collapse the boundary of the balloon. Okay, with some force. It's it's not only uh you know it's not only uh, stick to uh, the rule is stick to the balloons, but it also uh, it is there for every other thing. Even if you stand near nearby in your room in your in your room, or even if you stand in the sea. So you have different types of uh, molecules uh, moving out there with different uh, with different force actually. So so uh, right now in the sea you will have uh, you tend to have greater feel of air because of a lot of molecules are disturbed and moving here and there and uh, and it makes your uh, actually it, it gives you a lot of pressure of air but in the room when the when air has no net movement I mean very limited movement I mean so so there is comparatively lesser movement in uh, the air is right there out so so what happens here <coughs> so 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 Pascal is nothing but the unit of pressure unit of pressure so what is how you how much unit it is okay so one pascal so one pascal is equal to one newton per meter square we must uh, try to understand what is a newton so one newton is a force required to accelerate one kilogram at the rate of meter per second square it is one one newton is equal to to raise a object of uh, one kilogram so so suppose something is raised of uh, object one kilogram for one meter distance okay in, in a second of a second so this is this is the entire thing that we try to understand one newton and one newton is one pascal so one pascal is roughly one newton per meter square so 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 what would be to so so if we have this much of pascal now if we have this much of pascal or this much of pressure we are experiencing so so uh, so we need to convert this into an unknown it atm that is at atmospheric mass so we need to find atmospheric mass is nothing but to say or to denote the pressure in terms of another way of saying uh, of these pascals or in the pressure units. So what is that? Let, let us try to understand what is that too. So so 2.15 into 10 to the power 4 pascals. So so let us elaborate this uh, in, a, in, a, in a simpler way. So 2.154 into 10 to the power 4 let's put four zeros there so or else 2.1500 zero zero pascals right <coughs> right 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 so 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 from the understanding this is a simple convention ATM so atmospheric units is equal to 1 0 one three to five pascals three to five pascals so one atm is approximately equal to one zero one three to five pascal that is uh, uh, roughly hundred and one thousand three hundred and twenty five pascals 
So this much of pressure, if it is exerted on something, uh, that is known as 1 ADM. Why it is called as 1 ADM? When you go outside on the middle of the road, you will have 1 ATM. That is, when you are in the road, uh, you you actually in the road, and the amount of air you feel, that is 1 ATM. That is, your atmosphere out there, okay, uh, just outside your room, at any uh, natural place, so this much of force you are already experiencing outside. One zero one three two five pascals. So 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 something like two point one two point one five into ten to the power four pascals is experienced in any control environment out there. So how much this two point one five zero zero pascals in a normal one eighty uh, in in, uh, in in terms of ATM that that the thing that you experience outside right now. So two one five double zero divided by one zero one three two five that gives you the number of ATM out there. So how much it is? Shall I bring my calculator here? Okay, I'm gonna bring my calculator. Yes, my calculator. Yeah. So refresh it. Two one five double zero divided by one zero one three two five it gives me zero point two one two ADM zero point two one two ADM that means it's not even say one ADM is a normal thing that you experience outside that is it, it, it is uh, something very lesser than what you imagine in a natural way so zero point two two ADM could perhaps it could be there uh, you know in a, in, a, in a natural space okay in a natural space uh, Anything, anything like in a controlled environment actually uh, and naturally exist uh, in any type of uh, thing so 0 0.2 to ATM can be said as equal to 2.15 into 10 to the power 4 pascals hope you understood this video thank you